other symptoms we look at, we look at vision uh, in terms of visual field. And these are just, um, just, uh, just to show you the types of visual field loss that can be seen in IIH. Now, you know, here underneath is listed grade one, grade two, grade three. This actually does not necessarily correlate with the Friesen grading scale for papilledema. So someone can have um, a Friesen a scale five, very advanced papilledema and only have mild vision loss. So it doesn't necessarily predict what the, the grade of papilledema does not necessarily predict what the visual field would look like. But this is a typical pattern of visual field loss with papilledema from IIH. Usually there's the grade, um, the picture on the left, the, the top left, um, there's an increased blind spot. And sometimes we start to see some peripheral loss. Grade two, there's um, more peripheral loss. And then grade three, more and more. So basically what happens is with IIH, the visual field begins to constrict. And in the most advanced cases of IIH, what happens is there's constriction of the visual field to the point where people only see in the center. So basically they're, it's like tunnel vision. They have lost all of their peripheral vision. And what I wanted to point out about this is that, first of all, this does not happen overnight. This takes usually years to develop. Um, many people go undiagnosed before they get to the advanced stages of visual field loss. But um, the other thing I wanted to point out is that in, in stages one, two, and three, when it's mild field loss or more peripheral, many people don't even realize that they have loss of their peripheral vision because they have learned to, their brain acclimates to it. So they learn how to perhaps use the other eye more uh, for their peripheral vision. So many people don't know. So that's why it's important to do an actual visual field test. 